to another episode of Shanae Meets World, the global meetup that covers everything travel, business, and international life. Today, we're going to be talking about how to create a custom audience in Facebook Ad Manager. Last week, I covered the 11 Facebook ad objectives, so this is the next step. Before we get into the content, I want to just give a quick shout out to Brooke Johnson. I met Brooke when I was at Euclid Beach. Brooke is so sweet. She saw me recording for my YouTube video and she asked me what I was doing and I told her that I'm a YouTuber and she said, oh my gosh, I want to be a YouTuber. So I want to give Brooke a shout out and tell her that if you want to do YouTube, then go for it. Just take your time, learn, and don't stop. Also, Brooke did want to say hi to you guys. So here she is. Hi guys. Just to bring you up to speed, a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to create a Facebook ad for the event I'm hosting October 3rd. So when I created the, the ad, I actually didn't really know what I was doing. Now what I'm actually doing is walking you all through with me as I learn how to really create a Facebook ad. I'm just sharing that process with you and sharing my understanding of it. So last week we talked about the objectives of Facebook ads. And this week we're talking about the custom audience. And there are a couple of different options when it comes to selecting your ideal custom audience because it'll all depend and you'll have more than one type of audience because one audience could segment itself off into several different audiences. And so what I'm gonna show you today is how to actually create and save one. The first thing we wanna do is log into Facebook Ad Manager and you can do this through your Facebook account. Once you get in there, you'll see your a left sidebar. At the top of that left sidebar, you'll see an, an app launcher. When you click the app launcher, then you'll find a button where you can click audience. And this is where you'll create the, the saved audience. Once you're in the ad manager's audience page, then you want to click create audience. After clicking create audience, you'll see a screen that pops up and this is where you have the option to choose where your audience is coming from. Your audience can be created in two main ways and that's either through your source or a Facebook source. And I'm gonna break each of those down. If you decide to create an audience using your own source, then you can pull that data from your website, from a customer list, from app activities and offline activities. If you decide to create an audience from your website or offline activity, then you will have to embed the Facebook pixel into your website. A customer list is something I believe many of us may already be familiar with, and that's what most people consider their email list. For app activities, this custom audience will only be selected if you have an app and you want to send more people to your app signup page. Then you'll create the audience based off of who has already engaged with your app. The next set of sources that are available to you are Facebook sources. And this could be your Instagram account, videos, lead forms, events, instant experiences, your Facebook page, shopping, and online Facebook listings. Let's start with video. If you target an audience based on video, then your audience will be created from people that have engaged with your video within the past 180 days. If you decide to create an audience based off of your Instagram account, you will need to have a business Instagram account or a content creators account. I actually have a business account for Instagram. If you decide to create a custom audience based on lead forms, then one important note is that you will need to have a privacy policy on your website. The advantage of lead forms is they do actually help you grow your email list. And one of the things that you can do is create a lead magnet. Let me give you an example of a lead magnet. If you check out my video, Retreat Planning 101, in the video, you'll hear me direct people to my description box. And in my description box, I tell them that there is a sample retreat planning itinerary. 
the lead magnet is the retreat itinerary. And so when people go to that link, automatically what will pop up is the option to subscribe. And that will be the lead form. If you decide to source your audience using an event, then it will be created based on people that interacted with your Facebook events. Have you ever heard of an instant experience? I actually hadn't heard of the terminology. So when I was looking it up, I was wondering what it was because this is one of the source options to create an audience. And what an instant experience is, is essentially multimedia. And so within this one post, there'll be video, text, there could be a poll, there could be a lead form, photos, all within this one post. And that's what's called an instant experience. This type of source is best used for fashion industry, travel industry, food industry, hotel industry. Those would be the industries that will probably benefit most from creating instant experiences. Creating a custom audience based on your Facebook page can have benefits. Here's why. Because this group of people are already warm leads, meaning they've already established a no and a like with you. It would be to your advantage to target this particular group of people because they're closer to becoming a hot lead and actually making a purchase of your product or service. Creating a shopping custom audience means that you'll be creating an audience based on people that have interacted with your product on Facebook or Instagram. The other listing that I wasn't quite sure what it meant exactly was the on Facebook listing. And this can apply to someone who is a real estate agent. If you have a listing already posted in the Facebook marketplace, then you may want to create a custom audience based on people who have interacted with that listing and also listings within that category. That was just the first step in creating your custom audience. Essentially, what we did was select where our audience source is coming from. If this information makes sense and if you find it helpful, comment below with a deuces sign and let me know that you're still with me. Hello world. Good morning. On this beautiful morning, I am about to show you the best views of the city. One of the best views. I'm at Edgewater Park right now. As you can see, Lake Erie is behind me. And I wanted to show you all, this view of the city is amazing, okay? I'm about to show you. just came from the Cleveland sign. So I showed you all the beautiful backdrop of downtown Cleveland from the Cleveland sign and I wanted to get closer to the water. I'm about to head to the next location because I did want to show you all the Cleveland signs and the different backdrop of Cleveland, downtown Cleveland from each sign. We just got those Cleveland signs in 2016, right before the Republican National Convention. So I'm gonna take you all to a few of those locations and show you what the view looks like from there looks like we made it to the second sign i did have a little hiccup because the gps took me the wrong way nonetheless we made it and it doesn't look crowded so i'm excited because i thought that it would be i thought that it would be busy over here because of last week and there is nobody here this morning i'm excited the area that i'm in now it's called Tremont and this area is right outside of downtown Cleveland. The last location was Edgewater Park which is probably about a 10 minute ride from downtown Cleveland. You can just take the bridge right over here. It's very close. On 
to sign number three. Guess what? I made it to location three. I have to walk there though, because when you look up on the maps, it doesn't ex exactly give you where it is. Nonetheless, I asked two lovely women who happen to be singing gospel music with their radio on. I asked them and they actually pointed me in the right direction. So where I am right now is Euclid Beach. And this is the beach that I actually grew up on. So this is close to my house where my parents live. The other two beaches where I was, that was closer to downtown. And so this beach is probably like 10 minutes away from downtown. Oh, and the earphones, let me explain them. I am listening to Drake as I'm walking to the next sign. So that's what's going on. It's a whole vibe in these earphones. So I'm about to get back to it and I'll show you the view when I get to the next sign. Okay, so I just made it to the third Cleveland sign and I'm going to show you the view from here. And it's really cool because showing you the three different views of the city of Cleveland gives you a little bit of depth and it allows you to see how big the city actually is. show you today what we're about to do now is head home so that I can tell you all about how to create a custom audience on Facebook ad manager moving into the next steps we'll get a little bit more specific about the audience so this is going to narrow us down and really allow us to focus specifically on the people that we want to put our ad in front of so when I select Instagram then this prompts the screen to ask if I would like to use my professional account to create this custom audience. And then it gives me the option as to how many days. It could be within the past 10 days, the past 180 days. Then it asks me who I want to include and exclude. So first, before we do that, let's go ahead and name our audience. Moving on to location. This will depend on three different variables. That is your target audience, your ad objective, and if your ad is location dependent. So for example, my ad is actually location dependent because I'm creating an event for Cleveland-based travel content creators. It would make more sense for me to be very specific and target this area so that I'm not spending ad dollars on places that are not within my target audience. Let me know if this makes sense in the comments below. For the age range, this could depend. I did select a wide age range for this particular custom audience. This audience is for Cleveland in particular. I selected English for language. Detailed targeting is when you get into a little bit more of the specifics of the audience. And so in this area, you will be creating the behaviors, the interests, and the skill sets of your audience. And so for my selections, most of them revolved around travel. I used keywords like travel photography, travel blogger, travel writer, those types of keywords to select and narrow down the audience that the ad is creating. Within the detail targeting interface, I do like that there is the search and the browse option. After you've selected all of the options that you want in the detail targeting, then you'll have the option to make connections. This gives you the specific option to connect with people that have interacted with your Facebook page, apps, or events. The next thing you'll do is save your custom audience. If you already know how to do this, then share your expertise down below. I would love to hear from you. Next thing we need to do is actually create the ad creatives. We're gonna get into that in the next video, so stay tuned. Until next time, bye.